Since 1967, Stroud Water Research Center has focused on one thing, fresh water. By advancing knowledge and stewardship of freshwater systems through global research, education, and watershed restoration. Learn more at stroudcenter.org. Hi, Bernie. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I got 12, 12 species of seedlings and we're going to uh, expand this buffer. I don't think there's any landowner in Chester County that has planted more trees on his own than Arthur. How's that, Bernie? That's good, a little, just a little deeper. Soil looks good. This tree's going to love it here. So over the past 40 years, the collaboration with Arthur has resulted in five, six, seven thousand 7,000 trees being planted on this property along the banks of Buck Run and some of the smaller tributaries. I've always loved planting trees for as long as I can remember because it's critical to the land and to the environment. When Arthur DeLeo bought this farm 30 plus years ago, there were just a handful of trees on his property. The sycamore was here and it's just the inspiration for planting more trees protecting the banks, protecting the streams. One of the many reasons that Arthur started planting trees along the eroded banks of his unhealthy waterways was the hope of restoring and protecting the streams on his property, and in turn, everything else downstream. This is a headwater tributary of Brandywine Creek, which provides safe drinking water for hundreds of thousands of people down in Newcastle County, Delaware. I don't have training, I'm not an arborist, I'm not a horticulturist. I'm just someone who learned on the fly. That tree, that's a river birch, uh, dawn cypress, dawn cypress, river birch, uh, sweet gum, a couple sycamores in here. I've taught myself by dealing with people and learning from them. People like world-renowned scientist Bern Sweeney. He had planted thousands of trees by the time I even met him the first time. <laughs> I, kn I knew when I came out and looked at the condition of his trees that here was a landowner that cared, that really was not just going through the motions of planting trees. He was, he was trying to create a forest and he was trying to create a tree by tree and as quickly as he possibly could. And I was like, well, you know what? This is somebody that I want to hook my wagon to. Byrne is a pioneer in the study of riparian forests, the wooded area along a body of water. We need enough trees to produce forest-like conditions on the banks of a stream. Through decades of research, Byrne concluded that when the trees were removed by the colonists, the health of the water suffered and has been declining ever since. So without a buffer of trees along a stream or river, almost anything that is unnatural and is being used in the watershed will flow almost directly into the stream, unprocessed, unneutralized, unmitigated. The roots of the trees work to filter out nutrients, pesticides, and other sediment from the land and prevent them from entering the water. They also stabilize the banks and prevent erosion. And they're providing better habitat for the aquatic life. The shade, the leaves that are falling in the creek, all that adds up to better conditions for native plants and animals to live in the stream. Ideally, Thousands of trees should be planted along both sides of every waterway, everywhere. All we need to do is convince the landowners to do it. That's the hard part. Together, these two passionate pioneers are on a mission to plant as many seeds of change as possible. So I could get a grant to add some trees. It could be on the other side if you wanted to, but add some trees down in here. Arthur has been working with me to recruit other landowners with other properties in the region Having one enthusiastic landowner like Arthur is worth a lot more than I could ever do with all my lectures and data. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So we start it, we continue it, and we keep rolling with it. And we don't stop. From the trees, a fruitful partnership and beautiful friendship have grown. What I like about him is he won't stop. It's never finished. Wherever he says, let's go, we do it. Okay, we're at 100 feet, Arthur. I tell landowners that every tree counts in a watershed, regardless of where they plant it. Planting trees is simple. 
it's a simple, positive environmental fix for a big global problem that we have. It's about life, it's about growth, it's about eternity, it's about carrying on things for my children, my grandchildren. It's wonderful. I love Arthur. He has become really my go-to person for bouncing you know, different kinds of ideas about watershed restoration off of. Uh, he's a good guy. My goal personally is that someday, regardless of where you're at in the United States, you stand on the banks of the streams and you look up, you'll see a forest canopy and you will not see blue sky. That's my goal.